Kiki with Coach Smith, and I've got a game called Thin Pin Frisbee. If you like it, be sure to give me a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. All right, let's get started. So for Thin Pin Frisbee, you're gonna need a Frisbee, a cone, and a small hula hoop or a regular size hula hoop that is matching the team color. And that is where they're gonna collect the thin pins or bowling pins that they knock down. So you'll also need thin pins that are colored as well as bowling pins. We like to add regular bowling pins because it gives more kids an opportunity to be successful at knocking them down. You don't have to add those in, but it's always great to, to offer more um, opportunities for kids to be successful. So when it's your turn, you're gonna step up from the cone. You're gonna step on, on or behind the blue line. So it looks like this. When it's my turn, I'm gonna step up. I'm gonna take the Frisbee. I can either stand on the line or behind the line. And it depends on your grade level that you're working with. But we use Ben Landers, the PE specialist, awesome, awesome resources. Uh, so check him out, I'll link his below. But we use his cues for Frisbee throws, which is point, cross, step, and flick. And you are trying to knock down as many bowling pins as you can. So I knocked down one bowling pin. So I'm gonna pick up my Frisbee and I'm gonna pick up my bowling pin. And now I'm gonna go outside the black line here, back around to my team, all the way around. We don't let them run back this way because bam, they're gonna get hit with the Frisbee of everyone else that's still going. So we go outside the black line. I hand my partner the Frisbee, I put the bowling pin, in my hoop. Now, round one, whoever gets the most bowling pins. So they can be thin pins, they can be regular bowling pins, whoever gets the most in their hoop is the winner. The round two we play is you're trying to get your same color of bowling pins. So if I'm on the orange team, I'm trying to get as many orange bowling pins. So the winner of that round would be, okay, who has the most bowling pins that match their frisbee color. Round three, you can play where all of the bowling pins are eliminated and that one bowling pin that's left, that last thin pin, whatever color it is, that is the winning team. So then there's some strategy in that. I wanna to try to knock down all the um, pins that are not my color. So those are some ways to play thin pin frisbee. I hope that you give it a try, but this is a super fun game, frisbee thin pin, Make it a great day.